Today we are in Atlanta, Georgia, checking out the Center for the Puppetry Arts, which I do believe is the biggest Jim Henson collection of Muppets and puppets and dark crystal stuff and the labyrinth puppets in the entire world. Jessica's been wanting to go here ever since she found out about it. You excited? It's true. What's your favorite movie? The Dark Crystal. You know they have Dark Crystal stuff in there, right? She's gonna lose her gourd. Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's come my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stays? Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always a coming my way. The museum is open most days of the week from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And if you're a fan of the Muppets or Puppets, you gotta check it out. So I think our first stop is gonna be over here to the left, which is the Jim Henson collection. Just look at this entryway. That's awesome. Here for the Dark Crystal, and Jessica is losing her gourd. And this is only just a small bit of it because there's a special exhibit on the other side of the building that we're also gonna go take a look at. Hold it together, Jessica, hold it together. There's a set model of the crystal chamber here. It's not lit up, but it gives you a very good idea. 1981, just look at this thing. That is awesome. In the center of the room here, they have a giant picture of the dark crystal, and at the base of it, they actually have Kira's costume. And they have a crystal bat here on display. Just look at those wings. And I'm probably gonna butcher this, but they have a Skekshad, the treasurer, head with controls. The controls are right there. And just look at the detail of that. Another name that I'm gonna butcher is on the right-hand side there, the Earth Skex transitional head. There's a puppet performed in the movie, The Dark Crystal. Gartham used in the movie. I'm losing it. I'm in love. I can't breathe. Um, but if you don't know what a Gartham is, they're basically the palace guard and they lived in like the bowels of the Skeksis castle as kind of like an evil familiar that would do their bidding and they're basically a giant crab spider. Now don't get me wrong, I do love the Dark Crystal, but while Jessica grew up on the Dark Crystal and it holds a special place in her heart, for me, that place was Labyrinth. And right next door to the Dark Crystal area, they have a giant section devoted to Labyrinth. Here's a screen used goblin in the display case. There's a couple characters in here, and we're gonna go through them one by one, but just check him out. One of my favorite characters from the movie is right here, Sir Didymus. It's actually really cool to think that all the goblins in the movie had names, even though they don't really say that. Here is Fish Lips. You're probably going to remember this door, but more than likely you're going to remember this little guy right here. This is a puppet that was used in the movie Labyrinth. Here's a hoggle head cast right next to one of the cannonballs. Always love these guys. I thought that was a really cool idea. There's a Ludo toy, a fiery toy, and everybody remembers the worm. Hello. Did you just say hello? No, I said hello, but that's close enough. And so it begins. Jim Henson's The Dark Crystal, the world of myth and magic. And I'm telling you what, folks, Jessica just might cry. This is pretty insane. This is a screen used Agra from the movie The Dark Crystal. My God. You know, I think everything in this exhibit is actually screen used. Here's one of Jen. You're losing your gourd looking at what's behind me, aren't you? You ready? 
You ready? Gotta hear you say you're ready. All right, you, you can't talk. All right, let's go take a look. And before we get up close and personal, just look at this setup. My God. I have never seen anything as beautiful as this. Here's Iraq the scribe. Just look at that. Wow. Never thought that we would see something like this up close and personal. Just look at the detail. Look at these two little guys. Two of the pod people slaves. And I'm sorry, but does it get any cooler than this? They have a screen used life size Skeksy. And it is every bit as beautiful and grotesque as you would imagine it would be. Just look at that. I am so incredibly happy right now. Like I don't want to leave where the mystic is. <laughs> like this has been my favorite movie since I was a little girl to see the actual on-screen used mystic and the Skeksis like right here. I can't help but get emotional. This is just amazing. This area looks like it's almost like a workshop of filmmakers and the puppeteers creating different things. The different mechanisms behind the puppets' faces and the eyes. And the costuming as well. Here are some preliminary models of the mystic. But this one here of the head of the mystic is actually signed by Brian Fowd. There's some Skeksis puppet heads with the controls still on them. Just look at all that. How amazing. So just a few moments ago, I was here looking at this exhibit and a curator was walking through. And I guess because I was looking at this piece, um, he stopped and said, would you like to know something cool? I said, yeah, of course, I love this place. And um, he told me that when they started restoring this particular Skeksis recently, they learned that his eyeball is a Star Wars TIE Fighter toy that was used um, back when it was created back in the early 80s. And when the a person that was walking through this exhibit for the new show that's coming out on Netflix learned of that information because it's not noted anywhere they made sure that that was also accurate in the new upcoming show because i guess this character is in that show as well so now along with having a tie fighter eyeball in the new show they made sure to put in an itty bitty itty bitty little teeny tiny darth vader inside of it which is just super cool and then that information got mentioned to mark hamill and now mark hamill does the voice for this creature on the new show how cool is that? So we just found out that the Dark Crystal exhibit is going to be here at least till the end of August, maybe the first week or two of September. So if you want to see it, you better get here before they take it away. Yes. What did you think? Was it everything that you hoped it would be and then more? So much more. So much more. As a Dark Crystal fan, do you think, did they do it good? Did they do the exhibit justice? I cried. Yeah, you did cry. And we got it on camera. Thank you for watching. Wherever I come, I've had luck. It's come my way. Wherever I go, hard luck. Is that it stay? Good luck never stays a day. My bad luck's always coming my way.